Hey y'all, it's Megs. Well, now we have Ariana Maddox hitting back at Raquel Levis over the revenge porn lawsuit, accusing her ex-friend of trying to seek vengeance for Scandaval. Page 6 obtained some court documents and Ariana's lawyers claim that Raquel Levis seeks to punish and blame Ariana for the negative reaction that Raquel received as a result of her affair with Tom Sandoval. The documents allege that Raquel's lawsuit is an abuse of the legal process and does not seek to vindicate any cognizable rights, but attempts to prevent people from practicing free speech. Ariana's lawyers requested that Raquel's lawsuit be stricken down, adding she should also be awarded her attorney's fees and costs. Levis's lawyers, Mark Garagos and Brian Friedman, released a statement to Page Six in response to Ariana's filing. It states, the only thing more laughable than Ariana's motion is her fairy tale account of how she discovered the relationship from Tom's phone. Meanwhile, we look forward to cross-examining her on her declaration as we have irrefutable evidence that the videos were distributed, the statement read. Lastly, the forensic expert states that the video is not now on her phone. Well, after the events in question and with months of notice that her actions had put her in legal jeopardy. Kel Levis filed the lawsuit in Los Angeles Superior Court against Ariana Maddox and Tom Sandoval in February, accusing them of revenge porn, intentional infliction of emotional distress, eavesdropping, and evasion of privacy. Raquel Levis, who had a months-long affair with Tom Sandoval while he was still dating Ariana Maddox, argued that Tom recorded an intimate FaceTime call between them without her consent, showing her in a state of undress and masturbating. Raquel alleged that Ariana came across the video on her then-boyfriend Tom Sandoval's phone and screenshotted them onto her own device, adding she was terrified Ariana would leak them because Ariana hated her guts and was out for blood. Ariana's lawyers went on to explain she found out about the affair in the worst possible way when she found the sex video on Tom Sandoval's phone during his show of his band, Tom Sandoval and the Most Extras, in West Hollywood, California on March 1, 2023. Ariana was devastated and immediately confronted Tom Sandoval about his affair, the filing reads. She also sent Raquel Levis a text that read, You're dead to me, along with the video. In the filing, Ariana didn't share or show any of the video footage she found because Tom Sandoval immediately deleted them off of her phone while they were discussing the scandal in an alley behind the concert venue. Six reported that Ariana wrote, I did not send the videos to anyone else. I only saw the video of Raquel masturbating in places secluded from others, alone in the bathroom stall and in the alley with Mr. Tom Sandoval. Ariana said a heated argument ensued between her and Tom Sandoval and that Tom Sandoval forcibly grabbed her phone from her hands, causing her credit cards and driver's license to fall to the pavement. She quickly grabbed her cards off the pavement and chased after Tom Sandoval, who had further distanced himself from the club. By the time she caught up with him, Tom Sandoval had deleted from her phone the videos she had recorded of the FaceTime video. Sandoval also responded to Raquel's lawsuit earlier this month, slamming the filing as a thinly veiled attempt to extend her fame and to rebrand herself as the victim instead of the other woman. According to Page Six, who obtained the documents, Tom's lawyers alleged that Raquel Levis was attempting to portray him as predatory and Ariana Maddox as the scorned woman. Tom's attorneys also claimed that Raquel Levis's podcast is an attempt to further bend the narrative to her will. Sandoval's lawyers also argued that Raquel Levis created and published the recorded FaceTime session explaining it to be consensual exchange. Based on Raquel's 
own allegations, Tom Sandoval merely saved private copies of the videos that Raquel had filmed and shared with him. The filing reads, the time, Raquel's lawyer slammed Tom Sandoval's response to the suit, telling Page Six that Tom Sandoval's response in the face of irrefutable evidence that will be presented in court is disturbing, leveraging such claims for media attention and perpetuating victim blaming is not just deplorable but actionable. In her original lawsuit, Raquel took full responsibility for the affair with Tom Sandoval while he was in a 10-year relationship with Ariana Maddox. However, she insisted there was more to the story. The complaint reads, lost in the mix was that Raquel was a victim of the predatory and dishonest behavior of an older man who recorded sexually explicit videos of her without her knowledge or consent, which were then distributed and discussed publicly by a scorned woman seeking vengeance, catalyzing the scandal. Raquel is seeking compensation, special, general, and consequential damages, and is also requesting that Tom Sandoval and Ariana Maddox halt the distribution and destroy all copies of her alleged video. Let me know what y'all think about the lawsuit that Raquel has filed. I think it's absolutely ridiculous. I think that FaceTime video that she recorded was consensual. I think she's just embarrassed and she's using this against them as a way to kind of get back for everything and of course to stay relevant and get attention. I think the entire lawsuit that she has filed is ridiculous. Let me know what y'all think about it. Are y'all on Raquel's side or do you think it's ridiculous like me? Let me know and thanks for watching y'all.